Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? This is the Ramble and I am Alex Bennett, your humble and obedient host, joining you this evening. Uh, and uh, we are, uh, uh, I think, doing okay. I, uh, I, I certainly hope so. Uh, I, I don't know if we're out of sync or not. Uh, we'll, we'll find all that out as, uh, as time goes on. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, how are you? Uh, I'm a little uh, tired tonight. I, uh, I'm always tired, actually, and that's why I drink this coffee, and then uh, I drink this coffee, and then I can't go to sleep. That's a problem. Okay. Mm. Mm. There we go. Okay. Anyway, hi, how are you? Uh, this is the Ramble. It goes on until uh, midnight tonight. Uh, we have, over the last uh, couple of weeks, had, a, had some real problems here. What happened was I was using a machine. I bought, I, I'm going to explain this again because some of you didn't hear it last night. But I bought a, a, a beautiful Mac the top of the line, the most powerful Mac you can buy. Uh, I don't think there is a more powerful Mac than the one that's sitting on my table over here unless you do some kind of upgrades on it that are, don't come with it, okay? And it is, uh, it's what they call the trash can. It's, it's called a Mac Pro. And I had the old Mac Pro, which was called the cheese grater because it looked like a cheese grater. And uh, it was, uh, I, I used that one for a long time, and it, it really did the job it had to do. But I knew that what with Skype changing, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the way it did stuff. Uh, I was going to have to uh, come up with a whole new methodology of, of, of uh, doing programming that was going to take a more powerful machine. So I, I looked online, and I went to eBay. I can't afford a $7,000 machine, okay? But I can somehow scrape up 3300 and I saw at eBay this, this machine that, that was uh, 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 good to go, as it were. Uh, for $3,300, it was top of the line. It, was, uh, it had uh, 64 gigabytes of memory, which is the most that comes standard with, uh, not standard, but available with the, the Mac Pro. It, had, uh, it was a 12-core machine, the most powerful machine they make is their CPU. Uh, it had a, 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 a terabyte of internal uh, flash memory uh, and, and a whole bunch of other things, and then some really great um, uh, gra graphics boards, two of them, not one, but two graphics boards that worked in conjunction with each other. So I, I decided to buy this thing. I figured, you know, how, how bad can things go? Um, um, <laughs> I got, no, uh, Jeff, there wasn't nudity on the show last night. I just, it's, uh, well, I'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, okay, so uh, where were we? Oh, so I, um, um, so I bought this machine uh, on eBay, and I figured, eh, you know, how, how wrong can you go on eBay, all right? So I've got the machine about three months, and I'm using it for this program, and the program's looking pretty damn good, and I'm really happy with it. And uh, all of a sudden, I, uh, I, I was using a program that Livestream created called Livestream Studio, and I was playing with it and everything on this machine because this machine's powerful and it takes a lot of power. And I was trying to learn this thing. I played with it for about an hour. When I was through playing with it, all of a sudden, uh, what happens? 
uh, oh, the picture goes wonky. Everything goes crazy on my screen. Uh, things are transparent and whatever. So I figured, ah, I'll just reboot the machine. That's the first thing you always do. So I reboot the machine, and it's got the same problem. And I take it into another room. It's still got the same problem. Now, this is the machine I've been using to do all the wonderful stuff we do. I mean, uh, stuff like this. Okay? All right? See? Hi. And then I, all the different people are in there later on. Uh, and it does it with great ease and without any, any sweat. You know, it doesn't huff and it doesn't puff. But it blew. So I take it down to the Apple store. All right? And uh, I say, I got it. It's, it's broke. So we go through a whole bunch of things and so on and so forth. And finally, the guy says, you know, let me turn on the light back here. Uh, uh, the guy uh, says to me, uh, I, I think it's probably the, uh, it's probably got to be the uh, display board or something like that. So uh, we'll have to turn it in and have them work on it. So now they go and they work on it for about three days. And then finally I get a note that says, call us, we need to talk to you. So I call them and they say, look, you got a problem with it. We, we, we went and we replaced the board with one of the two boards. There are two boards in there and they replaced them with one of the two boards. And the one board we replaced it with wasn't the one that was bad, so we got to get another one. So how long is that going to be? Well, it's going to be another three days. Okay, so anyway. Then they put in the new board and the new board works. But they say, there's a slight problem. And I say, what? And they said, well, we don't see it. We don't feel it. But the diagnostics we run on it say that it's overheating slightly, about 2%. And I'm thinking, 2% overheating? I can live with that, right? No. They can't live with it. They said, that the only way we can solve it is either you can take the machine back or we can send it uh, out, uh, to, uh, out of here to a outside uh, place where we work on this stuff. Well, listen, sirens. Um, where we work on this stuff. And I said, where's that? And they said, Houston, Texas. It's our big repair shop in Houston. I said, OK, how long does it take to get down there? And they said, oh, we overnight it. It gets there the next day. And sure enough, when I looked online, it did get there the next day. And then I waited for about five days, checking all the time to see how it was doing. And first they went, we're diagnosing it. And then it said, we're repairing it. And that repairing went on for like three days or whatever. Now, prior to this, let me tell you what they told me. They said, we're going to send it down to Houston, but we want you to know that we're not going to charge you more than we were going to charge you for replacing the board which was $359. That's with labor and everything. He said, anything over that, uh, we will just not charge you. So I said, well, okay, sure, send it down there. What the hell? So it's down there for about five days, four days, three days, five days, five days. And um, I'm wondering what's taking them so goddamn long. So I, uh, I, I'm sitting here, and I'm wondering what's going on. Finally, I see the note on the thing. We are now shipping it back to you, okay? And the next day, I get a thing from Apple saying, your machine is ready, come pick it up. Now, I'm figuring, what took them that long? I mean, it was, this was like five days, right? What was wrong with it? Well, they decided that they needed to fix some things on, on that computer. Now, mind you, this thing was built, it, it's, they, all the, all the um, uh, Mac Pros are called 2013 because that's when they first came out. But they come out at various times. If I bought one tomorrow, they would have it on their list as having been built, say, earlier this year or whatever. This one was actually built in 2014. So they went down there and they diagnosed it and they fixed everything they felt needed to be fixed. Uh, you're going to, you're going to hear this story and, and you're not going to believe it. Okay. But I get this bill from Apple and you're saying this is going to be a horrible story about a bill from Apple, right? But that's not, that's not what it's all about. Actually, it's a little better than that. 
it works itself a little better. So here's the deal. <laughs> this is really fun. Uh, here's what they replaced in there. First of all, realign adjustment perform. Zero price, all right? Then they put in the A graphics board. Then they put in the B graphics board, a new one. Then they replaced, uh, let me see here, all the memory. And that's four chips at $254 each. That's four chips that go in to make up 64 gigabytes of memory. All right? They then uh, did a, a cable, and they did another cable, and they did some bus bars, and they, did, uh, they had a labor charge of $100. Now, wait a minute, hold on a second. Hold on a second. The one thing I didn't mention is they replaced the CPU. Now, that's the central processing unit, and in a computer of this sort, the central processing unit is a, uh, probably the most expensive single factor in the machine. They replaced it, and they put in a new 12-core, 2.6 gigahertz, 7 gigahertz, 12-core, uh, uh, CPU riser. Uh, total charge, tax not included, okay, for all that they did here. Now, you got to remember, this isn't very much of a machine. It's, it's pretty, it's, they replaced almost everything. The only thing I can see they didn't replace was a logic board uh, or, and a, um, uh, the power supply. Otherwise, everything else got replaced. Total cost, $3,044. And you're going, yikes, Alex, you had to pay $3,044 to fix this machine? No, I went down and picked it up at Apple, and they said, we told you we wouldn't charge you for any other work on it. Uh, the charge here now is $356. And I said, can I use my Apple Pay? And they said, surely. And I paid it and got out of there before anybody thought maybe they had made a major mistake. But no, on the other side of the ledger here, it says uh, amount, due to, amount due from the customer, and it's zero, zero. You can even see it. I don't know if that, that will see all those zeros there. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on a second. See the zeros? Zero, 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 zero. zero. Ah, oh boy. Huh? How about that, huh? Ta-da. I made out like a bandit. Hey, listen, I got to tell you, I, you know, I, I, all I have to say to you is, is if you don't have an Apple product, buy one. And the reason I tell you you should buy one is they really stand by their product. So, you know, that's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. Um, anyway, so... Uh, how's the picture looking tonight? Because I'm using the the uh, the machine, okay? The machine that uh, uh, I just had uh, fixed. Let me see here. Let me get myself a little more volume out there on the internet. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. No, that's not what I want. That's what I want. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, there are a few things I still have to readjust, like, uh, well, I'd readjust the camera now but I'd, because I'd like to get a little darker, but I can't, so I'll, uh, I'll do that later. Anyway, uh, we've had trouble the last couple of nights, you know, with uh, 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 me slowing down and uh, my, me being out of sync. Uh, I, I, here I look like I'm out of sync but I'm not really, I don't think, going out, and I think everything is fine. It says, sync does matter. It's the content. We're not watching your mouth. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Uh, uh, but I, I don't think there's a problem out there when we're finally getting out there. So I don't know. We'll see what happens tonight, and I've got a lot of power in this machine, uh, and... Uh, We'll see if it can hold up really nicely. and But it's like a brand new machine. That's what I've got here. A brand new fucking goddamn machine. 
All right. Um, now, I have sad news here. A guy I know, another person I knew, died. Uh, this time, I, one day over at Sirius, I had uh, the guy who uh, played Darth Vader, the guy who played Chewbacca, and uh, a couple other people on from Star Wars pictures. And uh, the guy who played Chewbacca was a guy by the name of Peter Mayhew. And he was a really sweet guy. I mean, a really nice guy. But what else? You know, when you're that, when you're seven foot three tall, uh, you've got to be a nice guy, <laughs> right? But anyway, the guy, uh, he was just, uh, I, I remember him. He was just a sweet guy. Well, he died at the age of 74. Now, being that tall, I think there are certain problems that you get health-wise uh, when, you, when you're that tall. And uh, uh, he, uh, he certainly uh, had them. Uh, by the way, I have a little bit of a hum going on here because what happens is one of these, there we go. Ah, there it's gone. That was driving me crazy. Uh, I, 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 slowly but surely, I'm getting everything working here. Uh, I would like the, uh, the video to be a little darker, but... Uh, I, I, I'm not going to go and do that now, because if I do that now, uh, it will uh, kind of look weird. So anyway, uh, let me see here. So anyway, Peter Mayhew died, and I'm sorry to have seen him go. I was, uh, I was trying to get the picture I took with him, uh, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't get it, actually, because I went online, and because I hadn't used this machine in a while or something, um, it... Um, it went up to the cloud and had to bring all the pictures down. Uh, and uh, so it took a while. And by the time I it finished doing what it had to do, which was terrific, uh, I, uh, I was ready to go on the air and I didn't have time to get the picture. So believe me, I interviewed him. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. Well, last night, uh, we had... <laughs> We had something happen. This has never happened to us before. Uh, Jeff, who is a guy we just love and adore, and his wife, Pam, who we love and adore. Jeff was on the show, as he usually is. And he did what he usually does. He sat there and every now and then said something. And when he says stuff, it's, it, it, you know, we're glad he's part of the citizen panel because it, it does, uh, it does uh, have some wisdom to it. All right? But anyway, he was doing the show last night, and um, he was he fell asleep, uh, he dozed off, which I don't blame him. I do. I, if I had a chance here, I would doze off too. Okay, and um, so I then get this 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 uh, thing from um, uh, 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 <laughs> um, from one of our panelists. God, my mind tonight. God, I took another one of those Xanaxes. I gotta stop doing this because it's bad for my memory. Anyway, um, um, and, and waving like crazy, waving like like nuts, okay? And and I go, what is it? And he said, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, uh, Jeff's uh, phone um, is um, is his his Skype. Uh, his wife is walking around naked, or not naked, but in her bra and panties. And I and I had noticed something going by, so I immediately what I did is I can turn off a particular feed, and I turned off his feed. All right, but the problem was that the people watching on Skype, we're still seeing uh, uh, Jeff. And supposedly his wife took her clothes off and got into bed. But uh, Jeff, if you're listening, that did not go out over the air. I went back and looked at the video and I, I caught it at the right time. It, I just, you know, I just blanked you out and everything was fine. The next time when we get, came back to you, uh, she was already in bed sleeping, so. Anyway, uh, but we, we uh, thank you very much. Um, um, oh, God, my mind is just horrible. 
The guy calls us every night, practically, and that I love dearly. Oh, well. Warned us about it, okay? What, what is with me? What, yeah. I, am, I am out of it. I am just totally out of it. Just all kinds of stuff going on. Our, uh, we're finally getting some forward movement on this apartment deal that we've got going here. Uh, and uh, to our advantage, they were, the judge finally came down with a, they want, both the landlord and the, uh, and the guy who rented us the apartment uh, wanted to uh, have a summary judgment, and it took the judge a year to figure out whether they should get a summary judgment or not, and they said, no, they aren't going to get a summary judgment. And then the landlord asked that, well, I would like, I would like back rent, and I would like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, the judge had turned that down, too, saying we have to decline it at this time because you can't figure out what the rent should have been. You don't know what the rent should have been. So, in other words, uh, my business manager called me today, and he said, uh, I don't know how I would have put this. He said, I read what you sent me, which was the thing from the judge, and he said, uh, all I can say is you're in the catbird seat. So we have a big uh, mediation on Tuesday, and that should be an interesting mediation because now they have no recourse but to settle and come to some solution or to go to trial. And if they go to trial, what happens is their, uh, their, their whole deal is uh, um, uh, uh, just absolutely... Um, uh, they're, they're, what, what's the word they use? Their exposure is greater, okay? So anyway, so that, that was good news yesterday, and this was good news yesterday. Uh, so I've had really some good pieces of good news, so I'm waiting for the world to fall apart on me any moment, you know, because that's the way I am. Um, what is my, what is with my mind? You know, when, I, when I'm forced to think of a name, uh, I, I've got a problem. And uh, I, I'm sorry that I can't remember who it was last night that, uh, that was doing this a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I feel terrible because I shouldn't, I, I, I should, his name should just come to me without me even thinking about it. And uh, I'm just, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm just getting old. I guess that's it. Either that, or I've got to stop taking this Xanax because I understand that Xanax does make you forget stuff, and um, I don't want to go through not remembering stuff here. I'm going to turn on the Skype here. Uh, it hasn't been turned on so far, and we're going to hope and pray that we have some kind of decent amount of uh, of. Um, uh, if everything works right here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make some adjustments tomorrow because I'm going to be using my regular video picture. Uh, and uh, we are now open for business, as it were. Uh, and, um, you know, you can start calling. Let me, in fact, turn on that so that I can hear the phone if it rings or the Skype if it rings. The first time it rings, it makes just a horrible, horrible noise, and then, uh, then it, uh, then it uh, doesn't. But uh, uh, there we go, and it's, it's Phil is the first caller tonight. See, that's the noise it makes. And then let me go over here, and let me get scuba diver. There we go, okay. And then here comes Josh Wheeler, and I'm going to uh, bring him in. And let me see here, Josh. Uh, well, uh, there we are. There, hold on a second. I've got to. Yeah, there's stuff I have to do here. Once we do all this, we're we're in pretty good shape. Um, let's see here. There's Josh. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then I go like that. And uh, look, we've got Phil and we've got Josh. And uh, my machine is seems to so far be working okay. I don't seem to be. Out of sync. Uh, so I, you're, you're taking advantage of uh, Apple. Those poor bastards. They're gonna they're gonna go bankrupt with all the uh, 
uh, extra work that you've gotten from them for no extra money. That's that's right. Yes, uh, they can't afford it. You know, I, I think I've had this happen before. You know, I had it happen with the Mac Mini I bought from you. That's right. When it blew and they replaced the hard drive and it still didn't work right, and I brought it back and they said, "Okay, well we fi we fixed it. We put in a new logic board. We're minusing out the four hundred dollars because we didn't get it right the first time." Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, that's the kind of policy. I mean, I've got a machine here that's out of warranty. We're not talking about a machine that's in warranty. It's out of warranty. Yeah. And um, think of what, it, you know, what I was able to do with it. It's just amazing. Just amazing. How many, how many of those machines actually go bad? You know, I wouldn't think that many. Well, I would think, a, I would think a, a lot more. Uh, well, and, there and, aren't and, that many well, of them. Well, he, I mean, you got one, I got one, and that's it. Well, I, yeah, there, there are just three <laughs> of them in the whole world. Um, yeah. uh, the reason I think there are more problems than you would like to believe. Wait a minute, hold mm. on a second. I gotta, I'm trying to get to. Um, oh, what happened? Yeah, what happened to Charlie? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all righty. Now I go here and I go to, and I get Josh. Uh, let me see. We have Josh. Who's screwed up? Here's Charlie Wallace. Oh, okay. yeah. You know, yeah, I, I don't know who was there doing the waving last night. I wasn't was Patrick. there. Patrick. It was Patrick. Why Patrick. can't I remember a name? What is with me, man? I just, you know, Patrick. Imagine I can't remember his name. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm out of it. I'm gone. I'm through. You know, yeah, it's it's time to stop taking uh, crap like that. If we wanted people who are brain damaged to run this show, I'd have Phil do it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's that's the that's the problem that you encounter when you have a live show. Yeah. And uh, you know, you can have somebody walk across the thing. Well, yeah. I know. Uh, once uh, you were doing a thing at um, KQED. Uh, you had an auction table, yeah. and I kept. Uh, I, I went with you, uh, you, me, and Susan. We went there, mm -hmm. and I kept walking across the back of the shot, <laughs> getting mugging the camera, <laughs> and yeah. and they uh, they weren't too happy about. Well, that. we've been joined by uh, we've been joined by by Rob Alfano, and so far we good have good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, so far, we have four people, which is uh, which is nice, and I I seem to be in in perfect sync, and I'm using my camera. I'm not using the uh, the feed from the Skype. So, you know, uh, you know, it's nice to have my little powerful machine back. Yes, Charlie. Well, we don't have to do it right now, but at some point, I'd like to respond to something that Tony brought up about the Affordable Care Act and about the penalties on it, and I have a, I thought of an answer for that. Oh, it's 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 not a it was called the mandate. I listened to the show as the mandate, and it was a thousand dollars. So if uh, uh, there was a certain, certain point, point into, into where the uh, Affordable uh, Care Act went into went into, went into uh, being, that if, if you, you didn't, didn't have insurance, have insurance yeah. you had to pay. I believe it was a thousand dollars because the be mandate said that. if you didn't if you didn't have it, you had to pay. Yeah, yeah, but was it? It wasn't a thousand dollars the first year. It, was, it uh, gradually went no, up. The first year it was zero. The first year it was zero, and then it right. went up to like three hundred, and then it was seven hundred, and then I think it was going to be a thousand. Right, and then Trump eliminated the uh, the yeah, mandate. Yeah, eliminated the penalty. I think before it got to a thousand. Oh. But anyway, I wanted to respond to that, but I, I didn't want to do it right now unless you want me to. Well, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah. Well. He was saying that he doesn't want to get insurance because he doesn't need insurance, and why should he have to be penalized for not having insurance? Well, what in my whole life? I'm 69 years old. I have never, ever in my life called the fire department. I have never had to use the fire department. I've never had a fire in any house or apartment that I lived in. So I could decide why should I have to pay for the fire department? It's not the same. No. It is the same. It no, is because the same. you have to pay for the roads, you have to pay for the libraries. Right. Have to because it's what you're to used to hearing. No, it's the same can thing. I if finish you... my point? Sure. Right. The, the point is, if I decide I'm, I'm not going to pay for the fire department, and I get caught not paying my taxes and paying for the fire department, I not only will I get penalized but mon monetarily, but I could be thrown in jail. 
Do you know that in my text? Did you, uh, Charlie? Did you know that there are some jurisdictions or municipalities that have a extra charge for the fire department, and people who haven't paid for that service don't get the service if their house is burning down. Now, I I, I remember. I didn't know if it, uh, I didn't think it was Vallejo, but there, uh, I know that there are municipalities that have that kind of arrangement uh, to to where it's you pay or you don't get. Well, where I used to live, when I lived outside of Austin, out in the country, the, there was an extra fee for the fire department because it was volunteer, volu it was volunteer fire department. But yeah. you didn't have a choice to pay it. If you didn't pay it, you 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 got. I mean, the the sheriff would come around and arrest you yeah well you know the, the it's that's a little different uh you know that's for the safety and uh, uh well, it's, it's a, the community a that's what your taxes are all about yes rob, rob. I, I will oh, i will i will dispute what you're saying phil in that you are against drugs right you think drugs shouldn't be legalized that's but correct. it's okay for alcohol Alcohol is more dangerous. Alcohol does more damage to your body. But because we are so inclined and so it's been so socialized in our environment that it's sh why should it be OK for alcohol, so, but not OK for drugs? So you, this is a what about alcohol? No, 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 no. Well, yeah. Oh, 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 no, oh, I'm not changing the subject. Nope. Wait a minute. I'm not changing yeah. the subject. I'm saying that you're saying this is different. It isn't different. It's the same thing. I don't use a service. Therefore... <laughs> Therefore, well, I shouldn't have to pay for it. You see, it's the same thing. I don't, I don't get sick, so I don't health, need it. Health, health, it doesn't matter. But it, you're going to go yes, on the it does. You getting sick and not get taken care of to make somebody else sick. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I don't can I? Can we just stop? Way. Can we stop for one second? I don't want to change the subject, but we do have <laughs> Pam <laughs> Zeller here. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, to that guy. Uh, Gabnet's Miss May. Miss May. Uh, <laughs> that was just a perk of Gabnet. <laughs> but well, so it turned out, I went back and I looked at it, and uh, you at no time were naked. You were in your bra and panties, but uh, yeah, I caught whatever. it before you actually got naked. <laughs> Uh, and P Patrick, though, was panicked because he was watching the Skype, and on Skype, I, I, you could see it. I think Patrick's legs were actually moving. He was moving so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so the picture you know, of Patrick going like this. Like <laughs> so, you know, we were out of town, and we took our family to Rhode Island, and so we you were don't in wear a clothes in Rhode Island? <laughs> no, we were in a hotel room. But normally, I wouldn't be running around behind Jeff in my own in my own home. I know, but in a hotel room, he plugged in, and I totally forgot he was on because he fell asleep. It was yeah, cold. he was just yeah, sitting. There. Oh God, I was so mortified. But just wanted to thank Patrick, but he's not here. I really did appreciate that. He well, we want to thank you. <laughs> got a lot of compliments. Yes, I think Patrick is watching the video. The highest rated uh, uh, ramble, ramble huh? over and over. You know? I'm leaving. I'm not going anywhere near this camera anymore. But well, Pam, we, we, Sorry, we, we love you, and 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 uh, you are a gorgeous woman, and he's a very oh. lucky old fart. That was not you know. depth. Let's not go there. Does that mean this is anyway. R-rated now? Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's get back to what we were talking. I didn't want to interrupt, but I, I I did see that Pam was there with with Jeff, and I wanted to uh, 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 acknowledge them. Let's go back to what we were talking about, and I think I think I think what Charlie was trying to say, I think what Charlie was trying to say, and it it it, it, it it's the argument that I often give is that if people get sick, and they, they can't afford to take care of themselves and whatever. I mean, they can cause illness in other people. I mean, yeah. it, 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 I, it, I just don't understand what is wrong with making sure every American gets not only affordable, but competent health care. Because you know? it won't be affordable and Phil, competent. Phil, 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 Bull, Phil bullshit, it's affordable everywhere else. Everywhere okay? in the whole world except here, huh? 
Mm-hmm. And China. The stock, and and the China. stock answer is that it's shitty health care. Although, talk to anybody in Canada, and they will tell you it's great health care. If it's so, shitty health care, why do they live longer? Every one of the <laughs> countries that has universal health care has and a and longer life. Well, uh, because here's the, here, here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Uh, the reason why is that uh, in those countries, uh, doctors are given bonuses for the health of their patients. For instance, in England, if you're a doctor and you have a good record of keeping your uh, patients healthy, um, um, you get a bonus. Uh, People are not afraid to go to their doctor to get a yearly checkup and to have the doctors perhaps, you know, tell them what they need to do to be even healthier. And it, it really is... It really is terrific, and that's the reason why universal health care works and why people are healthier in those countries. I mean, One we, more step we, we to don't, socialism. Uh, bull, bullshit. Bullshit. Don't, it, don't take, th- then, the, then the fire department one is more one more step. To don't, take your, don't take Medicare. It's socialism. Hey, no, it isn't because I paid for it, and I've been paying for it for years. Uh, you since, didn't pay. You, you, Phil, since Phil, Phil, Phil. You Phil, don't think you, people in Canada are paying for their health care? Not uh, yeah, sure they're paying for their well, health care. There you go. So, but um, what yeah. happens is, if you want to get some uh, a medical procedure that's elective, let me tell you how long you're going to be waiting in Canada a long time. Uh, wrong, 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 that wrong. Is, in fact, uh, that's, that's uh, Jeff, line, Jeff, you were nodding your head. You're the guy who knows about health. What what do you know about this? About waiting a long time? Are you there, Jeff? Did you hear us? Wait a minute. He's got his mic muted. And he's on he's on the move. He's following his wife. Give <laughs> <laughs> her back her clothes. Uh, <laughs> to another place. Yeah. Yeah. And I had you guys off. Yeah. And I'm on. And and the answer is I've been in other countries and their medical systems are great. You needed emergency service when you were in uh, Australia, right? That's right. That, that was emergency service. If no, you no, wanted no. an elective, Phil, wanted, Phil, no, Phil, elective quit, quit, quit polluting these years. airwaves no, with bullshit. Not, it was not emergency. It was, it was my normal stuff that I had to do, like a little checkup once a month. And uh, I said, "What do I do?" I said, check Just up. go to the hospital. Yeah, checkup is not. I need a hip. Checkup is not. I need a knee. Phil, Sorry. Phil, in those countries, you know, if you're if you're needs, you know what? If you need a Phil, need Phil, to listen to wheelchair. listen to us. You're you're That's lying true. and you're spreading falsehoods. No, the only people that are lying are the people uh, that are trying to interview Barr. Uh, oh no, no, don't Phil, change the subject. Don't do not change the subject, Phil. Stick with right. the subject. I'm, no, I'm not lying. That I get you, you, you guys. You are lying. You You're lying, get Phil. From people that you've talked to. I get information from people that I've talked to, and what they've told me is that if you want something other than emergency care, or, people or just are lying to you if they told you that. Well, everybody's a liar. Yeah, everybody's a liar. Okay, yeah, shut, up for, a liar. Shut, shut up for shut up for a short time, Phil. Let down. other people That's use true. some of the Why air. Around. A liar. Why aren't any other these other countries that have universal health care trying to get rid of it and replace it with our system? Not one country is doing that. Not one why country is, is ever why are they, got Why is most of these other countries get trying to move to this country? Yeah, those are really, really, really bad off countries. Nobody from Canada is sneaking in here. Yeah, they're not exactly knocking down the doors to get in here from Canada. Yeah. You know. well, uh, those are desperate people trying to get into this country. Very no, desperate people. True. Mm-hmm. Oh no, they're just real. They're people who, who who have great jobs. They have kids in schools. They play soccer every day, and they're sneaking why, into this. Why? Country. Why are the Chinese investing in real estate in this country? Uh, you know, uh, the, the, there's a lot know, of very valuable real estate here. There, what's the what's so uh, shocking about it's that? It's because uh, it's because these other well, the Chinese don't have uh, health care, uh, uh, free health care, but nothing's free. And if I want health care, 
Instead of paying it to the government and letting them dole out what I can have and can have, I want to make my own decision. I pay, pay a lot of money in taxes. Companies. Yes, I would. That's out. my I pay, choice. I pay a lot of money in taxes. This is America, and I like, Charlie. I would like those that, taxes to go towards my health care. Yeah, this is America. It's not. The it's government not doesn't some have mystery. a profit motive. The insurance company well, is going to The government doesn't you have a profit motive? It's not profitable. Well, let me the tell you, the government be- wants your money. And their way of build, giving profit to build more is bombs. by giving you this. Uh, to no. build more bombs. Maybe. To build another destroyer. Well, hey, you know, look what they've done with destroy. the Social Security Fund. The Social Security Fund got raided. Are you going to trust the government? And who raided it, Phil? Who raided it? And who? It doesn't fucking matter who, who uh, raided it. By the way, hey, leave, leave some air. Hey, Phil, 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 leave some air for uh, leave some air for other people here, please. I don't care if it's an R or a D. The government. You're not listening to me, Phil. Leave a little bit of air for other people. I noticed that uh, 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 Josh is looking a little miffed at all of this. Yes, Josh. Well, I'm okay. I'm just listening, but I mean... I understand their uh, their points, uh, you know. I, but I don't. I don't think refugees necessarily uh, are coming here for our, uh, you know, necessarily for our hospitals and our health care. I'm not saying that's not a byproduct, but I, I think most of them, you know, come for the economic purposes, not necessarily for our health care. I mean, we have good health care, but uh, not everything in America. Just because you're an American has to be, oh, we have the best. We have the best. I mean, maybe we do have the best health care in the world, but maybe we don't either. I mean, okay, I'm a, you know, it's okay. I mean, <laughs> you know, we can't win everything, you know. I mean, I'm sure that they have outstanding health care in other places. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would rather be laid up in a hospital bed here in the United States than I would in, you know, the Dominican Republic. But yeah, I mean, but how about, how about say, oh, I don't know, uh, just for grins, Sweden, Norway, exactly. Uh, I mean, France, I, I would France. Fairly, you know, I, I would feel secure in a, in a in a in a country like that, you know. But so, I mean, our healthcare system is adequate, and and it's you know above average in the world, I'm sure. But there are definitely issues with it. I mean. From the top on down, you know, there are two issues. One is there is a health services issue, and there is also a payment issue, insurance, uh, whatever you want to say. I mean, there are two issues. I mean, I've said it before on this program, and I know some people don't like it, but I'm just telling you right now that I can walk into a store and I can buy a weapon and uh, that could kill 50 people in 30 seconds, and I will barely have to answer a question. But if I want one $5 Percocet, I swear to God, I will have to talk to 10 people and get put through three or four machines. And then after they give it to me, I'll have to continue to answer questions and continue to. I mean, they will watch me like a fucking hawk over some goddamn fucking opioid medicines. Mm -hmm. But I can buy a weapon and kill people and hardly all I got to do is just prove who I am. I mean, the, the process will take. Minutes. There are two hands up right now. One is Rob, and the other one is Charlie. Rob, why don't you go first? I don't know what happened to your light. It suddenly went out. I, the, the, because I, because I raised the garage door. I, I had put the uh, the button on the wall sets the light. Bulb. When, I, <laughs> I when I raised the garage door, the light in the garage door went out after it. You know, that's it's a sensor motion sensor yeah, thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I was going to say about the healthcare system, it really doesn't matter how great our healthcare is. It could be the best in the world if if it's only for the rich. If everybody yeah. else is going to get, you know, the pittance, you know, you're going to get minimal care, and mm-hmm. you can't get the kind of healthcare that the rich can get. It, it's it's useless for us. It's useless. It it bankrupts people. Your health should not bankrupt you. Okay, and uh, Charlie, was, Charlie. Yeah, that's the point I was going to make. Half a million people every year go bankrupt in the United States because of their health issues, just because they got sick. No other country, no other industrialized country in the world, will let their citizens go bankrupt because they got sick. This is the only country, supposedly the greatest country on earth. Yeah, and Jeff, you had your hand up. A couple of things I want to say. You know, in the United States, there's absolutely terrific 
technology and people who are fantastic doctors mm -hmm. in certain places. In certain places, it's not as good. There's always a philosophy is don't move to Florida because <laughs> you got a disease because Florida's got the worst doctors in the world and a lot of people die there. Well, of course, they're all old people who are ready to die. Where is this again? In Florida. Florida, yeah. Yeah, and it's, 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 you know, part of it is just philosophical stuff, and, and, but part of it is pragmatic. People in Florida don't get as good medical school stuff as, as you would in uh, New York or, or any other places. I mean, Alex, you, you got seven different terrific hospitals in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you didn't like one, you go to the other one. And, What's the yeah. population of Manhattan compared to the rural, uh, more rural populations uh, in Florida? You know, uh, even if you're talking about Miami, I don't think it's that big of a city. I know it's it's square miles wise it is, but population Phil, wise, quality it's not. shouldn't be uh, quality. Uh, he said there's seven hospitals in New York, you know, and maybe there aren't seven hospitals. Oh, there are more in, than that. He's talking about good ones. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> good. That's yeah. that's the important thing. There are way all more good. than that. Well, I I, I don't you know uh, I lived in Florida, and uh, you know, granted I was younger. But uh, I thought the medical care there, I had hurt myself and done certain things. And, you know, if, you're, if you need oncology or, you, you know, you need certain things, uh, it's set up for older people. And older people tend to die, <laughs> you know. And so, uh, you know, I, I think it's an unfair uh, comparison. Well, I, I, I said that, uh, that Florida has a certain reputation that's, Rewarded. Yeah, people go there to die. Okay. People do go there to die. Yeah, they go there to retire. You know? A lot of that, which means die eventually. Eventually. Yeah. A lot of a lot of doctors who are really good want to be in the toughest place where they can get people and and keep them alive. And the doctors who are maybe not as good. Say you know what I'll go to Florida. It's okay. I can I can work they there. They expect people and to I die there. <laughs> and if uh, somebody dies, nobody's gonna make a big. Deal. Yeah, he was already eighty-five. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know you got people that are at the end of their uh, end of their lifespan, and yeah. uh, and and that's why they go there. Uh, although I got a buddy that's uh, that's that's living in Florida, and. Uh, you know, he he just got on Medicare, and uh, he, uh, and he said that uh, you know he's had some very good experiences uh, with the medical there, and it was inexpensive. Do we? Does anybody know whether or not when uh, when Medicare and Social Security were put into effect? Um, what was that? Right after that was right it was after Johnson, I thought, in '64. Medicare was in '64. Social Security was, was, was thirty four. So yeah. when those programs were 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 brought about, were were was it was it a, a kind of a unanimous thing that people thought, wow, this is great, or is it the same thing as we get today, where, where we try to give people health? No, care? you had forty workers. Cases. You had forty workers for every retiree uh, in in, in nineteen thirty four. They were called socialist things, and and there was a the the businesses and corporations were against it. The, the conservatives were against it, and they were calling it. They were calling both of them back in '34 and in '64. They were calling both of them socialist things, and we couldn't have it because we'd turn into to Russia or. or and, we, and they were wrong in both cases, weren't they? Yep. yep. Yeah, except that in uh, the next few years, uh, the uh, Social Security go negative, and I don't remember what date. It was like 2040. Or something it only that, will go negative because you only you only pay into Social the Security program. up until one hundred thirty thousand dollars. But people out there making twenty million dollars a year only pay Social Security on the first hundred thirty thousand. Uh, let me ask you this. Well, no, no, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, hold on a second. Hold on a second. To begin with, 
um, um, uh, Charlie is is absolutely correct that if you want to save the Social Security system, you do away with what we call the cap. You just keep paying all year long a certain percentage of your income into Social Security. Here? Just let me finish, Phil. All right. Give other people some air, please. Uh, that that you know that. I often wondered why at, at ten, sometimes when I was making a lot of money, like three months into the year, I was no longer paying out Social Security, okay? Yeah. And if we do away with that, that cap, uh, Social Security will have no problem whatsoever. And it shouldn't have a problem anyway. The reason it has a problem is because the fucking Republicans stole money from it. In, for the for their little wars, wah, wah, like wah. wait a minute, what do you mean? Wah, wah, wah. The Iraq War, which was a useless war, was paid for with Social Security money. It was from, paid for with a lot more than that, fund. with debt. From but, the surplus fund, yeah. Now, uh, Social Security has a three trillion dollars. This is this is the problem, Charlie. Sir? Listen to me on this. Uh, when people take a salary, their salaries might be a couple hundred grand a year or a hundred thousand a year or, or whatever, but most of the people that are in these super high income earning things are getting dividends. They're, 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 uh, and dividends aren't taxed by Social Security. Yeah, they should be. That's income. Why is my income that I work by Well, it's just the way it is. Why is well, that? but again, but you want to fix you. things. So these you, are the things you work to fix. Right, but if you, if you remove the cap from uh, from salary W two income, you're not going to. These people are just going to take a smaller salary. The salary that I take uh, from okay, from my business. A smaller salary. Yeah, you you don't take that higher salary. You get it in other ways, in, in dividend income. Fix That's that. Fix if all that. income is taxable that. regardless of what it is, it, not, for not for Social Security. Not for Social Security. It's, it's well, but but I don't I don't think that people would necessarily short themselves seriously monetarily over, you know, a tax being imposed on all of their paychecks instead of just some. You know, I don't really understand why Democrats can't try to explain things a little bit more, <clears throat> you know, simple in terms of this, and just saying something along the lines of like, look, you know. Joey Votto plays first base for the Cincinnati Reds, and he signed a $252 million contract some odd years ago. And the way Major League Baseball pay players are paid is they're given a game check, you know, twice a month. Okay, uh, so he makes approximately $28 or $29 million a year. So on Joey Votto's first paycheck that he gets of the year in April, they take out Social Security tax. And on all the remaining checks for the rest of the season, they don't take out any Social Security tax. But on Josh Wheeler's first paycheck in January, the guy who makes $100,000 a year doing a physical job, you know, that I have some skills for, but I, I, the market has valued my skills at $100,000. It's valued his skills at $252 million. I'm not quibbling with that. I mean, he's talented. I have certain talents. That's fine. That's the world. Okay, but my first paycheck... They take out Social Security check, and he that. probably he check, probably he check, probably my, my he, wait a minute wait, wait a minute I mean but he, that's all. Josh he pays he pays off all of his Social Security probably in two weeks. Correct. <laughs> you know? yeah. and, and, and I mean, and I'm not saying that you know he he shouldn't get that money or anything, but I'm just saying. Democrats could do a little bit better job at trying to relate to people in those kind of ways, and they could say, "Hey, it's not just Joey Votto, you know. It's it's uh it's all these guys. It's it's every guy that plays on the Yankees. It's every guy that plays in L.A. It's everybody." Josh, if it's not you know? W two income, there's no Social Security against it. Uh, income Bill, paid to you by a baseball long. team is, is, is wait, 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 wait. Charlie has something to say. Charlie, that we could change the law. Yeah, we could fix it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you haven't fixed any, you guys haven't fixed anything in five years. When was, the last, change it now. when was the last time we controlled at all? Uh, 
Under Long time. Yeah, when was the last time you guys controlled it all and you didn't fix anything either? In fact, you hey, raised hey, the deficit. You, you keep lumping me into something. It's the government. I don't like the government. Well, but, 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 I, but, but then call yourself both, a conservative. Well, well, it's because the, the Democrats are terrible. At least the Republicans are Why's doing Republicans a, a little bit of or they say they're doing what I want. But, well, listen, but, but to Rob and Charlie's point, Past failures by either party doesn't have to mean future failure. I mean, look, my, my favorite musician, my favorite musician, Jackson Brown, once wrote a long uh, a, a song with a line that said, you know, don't remind me of my failures. I had not forgotten them. I mean, everyone is well aware of their past failure. It, it The point is we're being robbed. We're being fix robbed it. by these people. They're we never going to change the deal. They're, they're well, just power hungry elites. Yes, but and you're standing. You're standing. Yeah, but who, standing who do you think Fox Trump Fox. is, for Christ's sake? You want to talk he's, about a power hungry elitist? Yeah, he's the guy with a fifty six percent approval oh. rating on his economy. Oh Jesus! Uh, oh, here you we know, go again. His, his, his uh, 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 hey, okay, 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 okay. Do your do your Trump advertisements uh, somewhere else? You know. <laughs> you know, yeah. you guys are. Uh, what did you call them? Sycophants. You know, uh, that I think I, it's the I, other way around. No, no, I, I think you, you guys, you, you, know, you can't, fall in you find zero fault with a man secret. who has a ton of fault. He has no fault. See, there you go. You there find a, 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 no. this guy has this guy is the, the most only fault. The only fault he has is the lying media that keeps repeating the same bullshit. Phil, Arnold. stop with the bullshit. Stop with it's the bullshit. bullshit. Stop with your fake false news. Okay, it's true. That's the thing that's true about the news. Is it fake and false? Wow. And and, and wait a minute. Jeff, Jeff wants Jeff Jeff wants Jeff wants to say something. By filibustering, you're not going to make your point. Jeff. I never make my point with you guys because you're Jeff. Jeff, Jeff it's Jeff's turn. My turn. Thank you. The one thing that I remember is that our president has pimples all over his tongue. Do you know what? From lying. <laughs> I think he brushes his tongue in the morning. Mm. And that gives but, him better breath. Again, though, I'm just saying Democrats do a terrible job at trying to relate to people and explain these kinds of things because they could take things that people love and explain that rules can be put in place to make it work for everybody. I mean, again, Major League Baseball has revenue sharing. I mean, they take money from the largest clubs, and they tax them, and then they say, on top of your revenue-sharing money, if you go over a certain amount of payroll, you're going to give us some more tax money on that, and we're going to take that, and we're going to give that to the Pittsburgh Pirates, to the Miami Marlins, to the Cincinnati Reds, so they can raise their payroll and, and compete with you because they're not in the same market you are. The NFL has a salary cap, for goodness sake. Yeah. The NFL says when you draft players, we slot their value. You can only pay a first-round pick this much. You can only keep him for so long. You can only pay a second-round pick this much. I mean, there are – and these are the most greedy businesses in America. Sports, for example. I mean, big-time sports. I mean, these motherfuckers are out to get every fucking dollar they can, and these players and agents are the greediest, most well, blood-sucking motherfuckers in America. Patrick, and they still have rules. Yeah. Patrick uh, loves to beat the drum for the fact that he's having to pay for a, a stadium that he really didn't want. But then again, I guess I could gripe that I have to pay in taxes for schools, if I own a home, for schools that I don't have kids to send to. Right. But, you know, that's, the, you know, when you talk about socialism, you know, they use socialism as a bad word. But the fact is that a lot of our, uh, of our, our, of our infrastructure is socialistic. Schools are socialistic. Police departments uh, uh, um, be a class, uh, fire department. If we didn't have that, it would be a class system in this country. Yeah. How about which is what it's turning into? How about and, charter and, uh, and what, uh, So then, so poor people would have to send their kids to where? If you're doing charter schools, charter schools are can't afford outside them. Of the, oh, you're going to no. have the shittiest. Many of them don't no. cost. I mean, in Oakland, they got charter schools. They were free. Yes, and 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 charter and, and charter schools. Wait a minute, Phil if and Phil Phil. Phil Charter schools have less vetting going on, and they a lot of them are considered to be big problems. Are the women 
that are uh, uh, those hot looking teachers that are banging their students are they in charter schools or public schools? Uh, I think How well are I, they I, I think I think actually they're in a program to help young men mature into great adults. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that there are uh, guidelines that can be put in place on capitalist style systems to enable everyone to be able to participate a little more freely. I mean, look, I'm a season ticket holder to the Cincinnati Reds, and all of my money goes to that club. But if Rob is a season ticket holder to the New York Yankees, whether he likes it or not, some of that money that he gave them ends up in Cincinnati. And it's done so in the name of competition because MLB recognizes if the same two goddamn clubs win the National and the American League every year, year after year, eventually people in those other cities say, fuck it, stop yeah. watching, and, the sport. And, and the system collapses. Right. right. You know, I mean, now people in New York and L.A. would love it, but everyone in middle America where a lot of that money comes from and a lot of those TV sets are tuned in on Saturdays and Sunday nights, you know, they just say... This has to be done. And, I mean, it, it does put a strain on people, and sometimes it's not fair. And so America that's a, can't that's make a, it fair for everybody. I understand that. Josh, but isn't that an argument? wrong with some compassion. Isn't that an argument for the Electoral College? You know, you're saying, hey, you know, these small states aren't getting the representation that the large states are getting, so therefore they have an Electoral College. Uh, so you, you've just made an argument uh, that, hey, it's not fair that New York— and uh, and uh, uh, California are, are going to decide the election uh, with their population rather than the other states. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you just made an okay. argument for that. Ch Char Charlie has his uh, his fingers up. Yes, Charlie. No, he didn't because Cincinnati doesn't get a bigger voice than New York in the uh, what happens in the major leagues. They get a they share of the money. Baseball. They don't. Oh. They just share the money. Well, that's the same thing. These smaller states like Delaware and Montana, whatever, they get more money. I mean, they get more than the money that they pay in for taxes. So that's 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 what this I mean. They get they get baseball. two electoral votes. But they and get more California say. One hundred and seventy-seven. They get more say because because California's got what forty million people, and they still only have two senators. And Montana's got 600,000 people, and they still have six cent Talk two about cent representation disbalance or unbalance? No, it's not a representation. It's the minimum. You know, you, you guys want the minimum. Uh, and you want things spread around so it's fair and even. Two senators is, is, is or, you know, two electoral votes, that is the minimum. You know that each one gets. You're not making sense. No, everybody it doesn't make sense. sense. Too, not, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense to you because you don't want it to make sense. You don't want okay. these other states because okay. so, you don't agree so with their political. Down, if, if you break down how many people a senator uh, is responsible for or represents, right, in government, and you take Montana's two senators and you divide that in two, right, and then you take California's senators and you divide that number in two. There's a big disparity there. Where, where are the laws made, in the Senate or in the House? They're made in the it's House. That's not the point. It is the point. All they do but is even they ratify. The house, even in the House, it's not proportional. Well, bill, bills bills to make law do not have to originate in the House. I mean, the Senate can pass a bill and send yeah. it to the House. It's just mo I mean, money. It, bills it can go money. either way. I mean, I, I suppose there are a few bills that must originate from the house like certain monetary policy etc but but not right. but not everything i mean you know as a we general manner speaking law can be made in, in, in more than one way well we have a president who you wants know. to make the laws himself he wants to be able to he wants to be able to dole out the money he wants to be able right. to make uh, it's you know he wants to subvert That's the true. constitution that you protect so closely uh, actually, he supports the Constitution that I protect. really, yeah, really, called the Second Amendment, the First Amendment. What it's about the, the liberals what about... That don't want anybody to say anything that is a contra to their beliefs? They, they're the. What about what, what about Phil, Phil, Phil? Phil, what about the Emoluments Clause? What about what about what about what about? No, uh, no, this sure. isn't a what aboutism. No, no, no. Hey, this hey, is a question. Hey, you're saying no, you're saying me, that um, he that no, he. F can, what, what about my ass? You, you know, you know I, I, Phil, you. Phil, Phil, Phil. Yeah. Again, 
let other people have some air to breathe around here. Uh, yeah. Is this your new your new thing? Uh, you need air? No, I didn't know that I could suck the air out. No, of the here's what happens. Here's what York. happens. You go on a filibuster, and I've got a system here where I can show people full screen now. But it's, it is triggered off by who is talking. And when you won't shut up, somebody else's picture doesn't show I up. I sat back for a long time tonight and didn't say a, didn't say well, a word. My God, uh, Jeff does that every night. Yeah. You know, and well, he, Jeff, and he, Jeff, and he, Jeff and he, doesn't want another stroke. And he jumps in. That's not funny, Phil. The, the, oh, he he jumps in. He jumps in when he, has, when he has something to say. And when he does jump in... It's well worth it. But yours is a filibuster. All right, all right. I'll, I'll unfilibuster. Yeah, it's, you know. Um, the, no, you can keep the mic in front of you. Just wait, you know. Um, what for? <laughs> Did anybody hear the story, to change the subject a little bit, although not that much? Yeah. The story about, uh, what's her name? The heir to the Disney the Disney family, but what is it? Uh, Disney's granddaughter or something yeah, like that was yeah. her name, Abigail Disney, yeah. who claims that Bob Iger's salary is insane. She has gone out after uh, Disney quite a bit about the kind of wages they pay and don't pay. And good for her. Yeah, good, good on for her. her right. You know, I mean, uh, I'm sure she has a lot of stock and she'd like to see the stock do well. And Iger not getting paid as much would probably make the stock go up a little bit. But <laughs> but nevertheless, she is she's saying something very, very important. And and what's very important is that she's talking to the fact that executives uh, salaries are greatly out of proportion to the average worker at a company. And when you've got a guy who's getting uh, oh, $50 million and the average person working at the company is, let's say, making $50,000 a year, it's a bit disproportionate. I don't know how much, how much worth Iger brings to that company to make him worth that kind of compensation. Un under Iger's uh, leadership, uh, Disney has become the... Uh, one of the largest but is media. that because of Iger Phil or is that I would is that because is. of Iger or is that because uh, it, it it just kind of well, is turning out the, that way the stockholders yeah. think it is because they wouldn't be giving him the kind of salary well you know something he's getting they, they, if it wasn't. they said the same thing about what's his name over at CBS and then he got ousted and the company's doing just fine well, there's been other people that have led Disney in the past, and they didn't do anywhere near what oh, they're doing now. Oh, you mean now. Eisner didn't do well by that company in its day and time? In other words, Eisner made them a lot of money and really set the table for what's happening today at Disney. Would you say that Disney at the moment is probably the one, of the largest, or if not in the top three powerhouses of uh, media companies? Yes, it absolutely is, and it probably should be broken up. Uh, do you think that that uh, that uh, you know Eisner was a big part of the direction uh, that that took? You know, uh, Eisner I, had I something to do with it. All I'm saying is, is that who was the guy over at CBS uh, that just got recently uh, dumped? Yeah, uh, 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 Moonves. Mo Moonves. Glenn, uh, Glenn, Glenn, uh, Glenn Moon. Glenn. <laughs> Uh, Glenn Mrs. Moonves. Moonves. Uh, 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 this is Mr. Chung. Mr. Yeah. Chung, yes, Mr. Oh. Chung. Uh, he uh, he made CBS a powerhouse, uh, but he's out now. And the reason he's out is because uh, uh, he, me too. he huh? No, had nothing he to do with no. It face. had nothing to do with me too. It had to do with the uh, uh, the, the Viacom people. What's his name? Uh, and his Redstone. Oh, Redstone and his daughter. They Sumner. they yeah, the, but they used the B two. Uh, they pressures. they exacerbated the Me Too thing, but they wanted him out for other reasons because he wanted them out. He wanted Viacom. They, he wanted the Redstone part of the company to go in its direction, and he wanted CBS to go in the other. And he was powerful enough that he was going to get his way. And they didn't like that, okay. Mm -hmm. So he, yeah. the Me Too movement didn't just get him. The the have Red you, Stones uh, did. Have you guys heard about all that drama with that Redstone fella? Um, who apparently is pretty elderly now. But a, a couple of weeks ago, 
I watched that show Q and A on C-SPAN every week, mm -hmm. and they did an interview. I was trying to look for it here for you with a lady that wrote a book all about that um, that Redstone guy from Viacom and CBS and all that, and mm -hmm. his kids and all his mistresses, and apparently a couple women that he married that were like fifty years younger than him. Right. And, how some of them got the money. I mean, that is the craziest damn story I've ever heard. I was going to say, time. I think his present wife is 16. Yes, I mean, it, 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 and I, I guess I, I had really never heard of him, but he is like. Oh, he's a powerful man. Summer, Summer, Super, Sumner, 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 Sumner. 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 Yeah. Sumner. But he's, uh, he's apparently like not even, uh, he's like not even coherent or functional anymore. Is right. is basically what her book proffers. I mean, he's he's basically. On his death well, I mean, the guy, the guy, him. after all, is something like, I don't know, he's, 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 yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's he, like 89, he's, 90, he's pretty like damn old, and, he's almost uh, 79, I think, yeah, he's pretty old, <laughs> and, uh, obviously, he is going to have some problems at that age with cognizance and so on, I'm having yeah. trouble at my and age, ED. huh, and ED, yeah, 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 <laughs> Not with sixteen year old wife. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, uh, even a sixteen year old wife might not be able to, I don't think she's sixteen, but <laughs> no, but he did marry a few that were like uh, younger than his kids, you know. His he was estranged from his daughter and uh you know, I guess she's like speaking to him again, but I guess he's got a son that he's estranged from who apparently moved to Denver and started some and then, I mean after the estrangement, there was some sort of settlement, and this the the son's settlement was something of like thirty some million. I mean, he just like took his thirty five million dollars and left California and never went. I mean, like fuck yeah, that's what I do too. But, yeah. I mean, <laughs> By the way, let me just jump in here and tell people if you look carefully, there's one square empty there, and we could use that. We could use somebody to fill that up. So if you want to call, uh, I haven't it's put the square. it's it's it's. Uh, Gabnet Live is the uh, is the. Uh, so uh, I, I did find it here at least. It, uh, the author's name was Keech Hagee. She's mm -hmm. a Wall Street Journal investigative reporter mm -hmm. who wrote a new book called The King of Content about the media mogul Sumner Redstone. And uh, it was actually kind of a book. I don't know, Alex, you would probably like it because apparently his family made their money. They were like the first family in America that really started movie theaters, apparently. Yes. I mean, at one time in like the 50s and 60s or whatever, apparently they owned almost like every movie theater in America. Or big I mean, chain. right, big chain of movie theaters. Yep. Right. Yeah. Fascinating story. Well, hey, Jeff, did you hear about the guy who cracked his neck and wound up with a stroke? <laughs> no. There's a story that this guy was sitting in his, his house and he was he woke up. He had a bit of a net, uh, an ache in his neck. And a lot of I do it, too, where, you know, you twist your neck yeah. and you, you snap it. Well, this guy, they tell you, you should never twist your neck and snap it. This guy caused himself to break an artery because of the, it crushed with bones and he got a stroke. He 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 could barely make it to the to the uh, kitchen to call. And he's going to have lasting effects from it. The doctors are saying you should never. You could get it at a chiropractor's office, even with a professional doing it to you. Have maybe you heard he, about that? Maybe he dislodged uh, uh, something that was there. And uh, oh, the like, doctors explained exactly yeah. what what he did. There, there's a. I watched the report on it. I was, holy shit! How many times I've snapped my. You know, yeah. you, you got a crack in your neck. That. Yeah, you better stop. I, I, I doing stopped that. doing it a couple of years ago. Dangerous. Mm -hmm. By the way, I just noticed that Bree was trying to Bree was trying to call in again, and when I <laughs> Bree was trying to call in again tonight, and when I went and tried to bring him in, uh, it just said uh, Bree missed call. So there's something you're doing, Bree, that's not working because I should be able to. Would somebody else call in so we can make sure we can add somebody to the uh, to the group because Bree always seems to have a problem lately, uh, and and I do everything right here, so. You know. A lot of times he's on his phone, he's walking around, he doesn't have the connectivity out in the street that he might have yeah. uh, in his office or apartment. Yeah. Yes. I, I think it could be that uh, in Dubai they, they don't want to see pictures of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> they cut your head off for that. It's, it's illegal. Yeah, but we, we do. They don't want to look. But we do. Yeah. 
Uh, hey, uh, you know, you were talking earlier about, uh, uh, you know, uh, pills and so forth and medicine costing so much. And, you know, why does it cost so much more in the United States as in comparison to other countries? It's in the United States is where we're doing the R&D. And uh, what they were saying was that it takes uh, many, many years to take a, a drug from uh, uh, research to the market, and it costs, in many cases, billions of dollars uh, to do that. And, and on some of these drugs, how many of them have probably been paid off years ago? Well, I, I don't know that, but, you know, these new drugs, and they introduce, I don't know, uh, was it 400, 400 different drugs, uh, is it a year? Uh, and so there's, there's a lot of money being spent on this, and they, they recover the costs of that on the U.S. market, and maybe they're not recovering the costs on, on other markets. Is that why that's uh, happening? Well, let's listen, let's listen to Jeff. He has probably the answer for you. Uh, well, I have a little bit of the answer. Um, in the United States, we have a patent system, okay? So if you invent something, you, you have the private ownership of that concept mm -hmm. or drug mm -hmm. for, I think it's 17 years or 19 yeah, years. Yeah, I think you're right. So. Yeah, I think 17 is correct. But anyway, so... Figure, great idea. Okay, except here's what happened. You apply for the invention because now nobody else can take it. Right. And now you got to do all the testing and you got to get the FDA approval, which might take 10 years. Now, if it takes you 10 years, now you only have seven years of where. You're in charge. You're protected. After the seven years, it's public domain, and anybody else can manufacture it. So they try to keep that price when it's new and, let's say, unique and has a certain benefit. They really want to recover re recover their investment. And they can only do that in the American market? I have a question for Jeff about that because I sure. get that. I understand that. There's, there's, you know, they, they could get sued. There's a lot of risk in what they do. So I get that. But why is it that a company will do something like on, on, a, on, a, on something like the EpiPen and make that so crazy? I mean, there's no excuse for something like that. It's, it's just probably the question. It's a way to. to why are didn't the epi well, I'm just I'm using that as a as uh, an example right. of how something that was affordable that people were using uh, yeah. and now suddenly it's out of the reach of uh, you know it's crazy expensive uh, didn't another company buy it uh, for instance on the EpiPen and they so. uh, and they were trying to recover their costs or they're, no, they're they, they bought it and they got greedy because the EpiPen's been around forever and EpiPens are something to keep on giving because I think you can only have them for like six months before you have to get another one because what's in that EpiPen uh, is not usable, okay? Yeah. So... And you better get bitten by a bee before the no, six No, what it is is, is so these, 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 these companies have to be... They have, to, they have to be brought to account for what's going on. I mean, but uh, those maybe that's the true cost of the stuff. And no, uh, it isn't the Jeff true cost of the stuff. That Phil, Phil, that, you know, it, our it, no, the true cost is all the marketing and the advertising and all the other stuff. You know, to begin with, uh, uh, medical companies should not be allowed to advertise on television. Because that is a terrible thing for doctors. Because all of a sudden, a doctor gets a patient coming in and saying, well, you know, I've got high blood pressure, and I heard about this pill, and uh, give it to me. And the doctor thinks to himself, well, I better give it to him, or I'm going to lose a patient. And so he gives it to him. We need to do away with advertising on television for drugs. There's no reason to do it. The public is not being helped by it, and the only person that should decide what you're going to take is your doctor. Uh, not at uh, not at Kaiser. Uh, I you know I I saw something on TV. It was a diabetes thing, mm -hmm. and uh, my friend is taking yeah. it who lives in the Detroit area, mm -hmm. and uh, he's losing weight on it, and his diabetes is under control. So I said to him, I want this, and they said, Well, we don't we don't give you that, you know, just take Did your meds. Did you ask why? 
uh, it's not uh, one of the drugs that they uh, that they delve out. Because okay. uh, they're not getting paid to. Yeah, probably. You don't okay. delve out a drug. You dole out a drug. So. Dole. Yeah. And they're not getting paid yeah. to. They're not getting. Uh, Jeff, you have something to say? Yeah, Pfizer is a very cost sensitive uh, organization. That's the uh, Viagra. No, just anything that they. Yeah. That, I'll, well, t- I'll, 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 t- I'll right. tell you another thing that, that needs to be done is that Medicare cannot uh, negotiate with the pharmaceutical companies on prices. It's and, the Part D. Uh, uh, yes, and they should be allowed to. The reason they should be allowed to is if they're allowed to, they would be the largest single user of drugs in this country, right. and those pharmaceutical companies would have to deal with that. Why did but because, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me finish, agreement. Phil, because they don't have yeah. to deal with that. They just charge anything they want to, and Medicare has to pay it. And then you say, why is Medicare having money problems? There's a good reason. It was George W. Bush that enacted that Part D thing and with that rule. What, what did he get back in return for that uh, particular thing? Uh, maybe it was a bad deal. But Lobbyists. you know, Lobbyists. I, I understand. yeah. But what what hap- What happened? What was the surround? Why why did that happen? You know, we always hear about this during election time. Got to get the big money out of politics. You got to get the big money out of politics. And as soon as the election's over, we don't hear about it until the next election. Nobody yeah, but does anything there was, about there was a, somebody. You know, they they made this agreement. Why did they make this agreement? And why you know because it, somebody it, got paid. Yeah, you because think? the because the comp- pharmaceutical companies, they have all these lobbyists. They, have, they probably have five lobbyists for every congressman. Right. And then they, they lobby them, and they they donate money to their campaigns and stuff. Right. And so they won't. That's why they vote that in, so that they they can raise their prices to whatever they want. Yeah. Yes. And next uh, year we'll start hearing it again. We got to get the money out of politics. We know they got to get the money out of politics. And then four years will go by, and we'll hear it again. And four years will go by, we'll hear it again, and nobody does anything about it. Don't, don't you bring feel it calm? up. Wait a minute. I do absolutely. But it's and again, it's both sides. Okay, wait a minute. My problem is yeah. not with the Republicans or the Democrats. It's with the it's entire all, system. That's and what I, I've been but saying. I, but I still think Donald Trump is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, so bearing. It's been going on Jeff, long before Jeff, Donald Trump. Jeff has his hand up. Just yes, okay. Jeff. The the other factor that that's happened is the number of uh, drug manufacturer is being reduced. And what that means is that they can reduce the cost of sales mm-hmm. because one guy can sell 12 different drugs instead of just two mm-hmm. in the past. And and by making these uh, companies bigger and bigger and more effectively, they are able to get a lot more money and also have – a lot more capabilities to argue with uh, the senators and the congressmen and the president and 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 the people who run hospitals and all of that kind of things. They just they just are becoming more and more powerful uh, organizations. Whether you like it or not, that's now that's recently the stock market didn't goes. recently uh, uh, Trump meet with uh, uh, a bunch of people trying to reduce drug prices. Uh, do you know what came of that, or uh, you know? What came Nothing. of that is that Nothing. every drug company raised their prices last January. Every medication I'm on went up in price in January. I, that's because you're black. <laughs> yeah. You're a black. <laughs> yeah, they they met last fall or whatever, trying supposedly to lower prices. Yeah, the that's yeah. First what what of the year? Yeah, First whatever came of that. Everybody you know? raised the prices. You know, I, you know, I'm wondering. You know, they made an effort to try to lower the prices, and I haven't heard anything since. Hmm. Well, uh, what I, uh, uh, all I know is that uh, that what happened is there has not been any um, uh, anything done about it. He just talked about it, and then yeah. that was it. It was all. It's just like. Trump is all talk anyway. I mean, uh, it, you know, it's it's not just Trump. It's it's all of them. Well, they the, all take money. You, you, so, but you, you're Trump's not taking money. 
You know, he's just not paying his taxes, according to you guys. You know, that too. You <laughs> know, too. I mean, wh when are we going to get to see his taxes? Soon. You're not. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. Well, it'll I mean, happen. I, I, uh -huh. Congress will win. Yeah, I don't think so. There I is no so, legal leg to not. stand on. Congress will eventually win. Yep. Get to see his tax. He says that people in the in, in the Mueller investigation probably already looked at his taxes. Could be. You know. Who knows? Could be. Could be. Uh, you know. But, and Trump, but, Trump but has if, rights if the too. Congress doesn't know about what's there, it's a then they can't expedition. act on it. But but it, it it's a fishing it's expedition. A you can't you can't it, fish Phil, to see if there was a crime. It's every investigation a fishing expedition yes by the democrats go no any any investigation whether it's criminal what, whether what it's, you yeah but you see you, you can't if there's fish. smoke if there's smoke no that that's not the way it works right josh i mean you you got you, you got rights you, to to unreasonable search and seizure uh you know that's you not can't, unreasonable of course it is he, well, no, it's not. If you suspect somebody of doing a crime, you can't just search somebody because you suspect. You got to have proof. That's what an investigation is for. No, that's what a, no, that's what a fishing expedition is for. Where do you get Where do you get your proof from? Well, uh, you you. There are ways of finding. But, the proof by the way, if by the way, the law, law, everybody. You break the law. There are certain everybody, that, you should understand that Phil uses a lot of Trump. Terms. These are terms no, that no Trump, Trump has come up here. with, and uh, he uses the Trump terms. You know, just like uh, they, they're all they all go and into. You don't use the lot. Pelosi terms. I don't use Pelosi terms. No, I don't know no, what is a Pelosi. What's a to it. what's a Pelosi term? I have no, no idea. He's guilty. He's lying. It's collusion. It's collusion. Wait a minute. Have you I know? been saying that on this he's show? Obstructing. Have he's I been, obstructing. Have I, have I been saying it on this show? Have I been saying yeah, that? Nobody has well, said it. Yeah, somebody, a lot of people. In fact, saying. didn't I say that I really don't think he should be impeached because I think it's useless to do it at this point? That has nothing and, to do and, with and, that and, 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 No, no, but don't accuse me of being in lockstep. If anybody's in lockstep, Phil, it's you because you use terms that Trump uses. Yeah. You use terms that, uh, uh, no, what's his name? Uh, the, the guy who was testifying for the last couple of days was using. Well, you know. Phil, it's the Republicans who are doing everything they can not to be <clears throat> transparent. If there's nothing going on, so. then what's the difference? Hey, they gave them the Mueller report. All they did was redact uh, the uh, the grand jury stuff. Uh, everything is there. The letter that uh, Mueller supposedly wrote had nothing to do with uh, what uh, you guys and the press are, are if, saying. If somebody, Phil, if somebody, if somebody, if somebody did something to you, I don't know. Let's just say that somebody uh, figured out a way to destroy you, destroy your business, destroy everything, right? And you've got a pretty decent idea of who that is, and you take them to trial. Right. And now you have this trial that goes on for six months. I don't know, three months, six months, whatever. And then it was time to come down with the with the findings of this trial. And your the, your your the prosecution got the information before you did and then only released what they wanted you to see as the defense. That's not true. They released the, the whole the thing. Nations. But there are laws that came into effect after the star. Oh, uh, you're, but that's the you're, you're, you're that's he's following the, the law. You want him to break the law? Yeah, you do. Because what what's happening, what happened yesterday is that it, that was an embarrassment uh, from the Democrats. For the Republicans. No, no. And and oh, let okay. me let me tell you what they were trying to do was uh, was uh, no, find him. It, there it. was you a heard, perjury trap. You it didn't just respond. No, it was you a perjury trap. You, you didn't respond. Didn't respond. Why should he respond when they're trying talking, to trap him? You, not them. You. If if you were on trial, if you were accusing somebody <laughs> of something, and you had a case that went to trial, and when it was time to come out with the findings, it went to the other side for them to release what they feel you should see. How would you feel about that? Well, I. Uh, Why not release it? The reason it all? you don't like it is because he, you didn't get. What you were hoping for two no, years. You're not answering the, the question. It's yeah. it's it's any trial. Well, any trial. trial. He didn't obstruct anything. It came out that he didn't obstruct. Nothing he, came out. There was not enough evidence. And, to, and, 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 and 
You what just don't like. You don't yeah. like. You don't like Mueller's cases report. Of one, obstruct- minute, one minute, Mueller is the end all and be all, and now he's a bum because no, he didn't no, find no, it. No, no. I don't say anything bad about him. I'm talking about what the Republicans are doing. Republicans should release it to. I'm not saying they should release it publicly to America, but they should release it to the Congress and let he Congress did. do. Need Only to do with two it. Republican congressmen Zero went in to look at the more redacted and unredacted uh, 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 Only Mueller Only two report. Republican? What yeah. about the Democrats? They don't it get was the open to them, and they and they boycotted it. That's what about. Uh, they 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 refused to go in because they wanted a full one with all the backup information and so forth. And, you know, Barr uh, correctly uh, released what he's allowed to release. And Mueller co- correctly wrote a letter saying you did wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. The letter didn't say you did wrong. Phil, did you wrong. are absolutely. Nope. You said this. Wait a minute. You wait a minute. Nope. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Because you're going to. You no, because no, because you're going to spread false. Uh, no, it's not no, false. You're no, no, no. Everybody has read. Everybody has read. What Mueller wrote three days after that right. uh, synopsis and, by, but wait a minute, hold on a second, let me finish. And you've been, you said the other night, oh no, that isn't what he did. I've seen it, I've read it, I've read it, Phil. And he said it misleads the American public into thinking that it's something other than it is. That's what it said. Phil, you can't change what he wrote. No, no, Phil, the letter was published. The letter was published. Wow. Yeah, the letter said that uh, he didn't, uh, that the things that uh, that, uh, Barr released were accurate and correct. The problem that Mueller had was the incorrect spin from the media. Mm -hmm. That's right. (laughs) Because they controlled it. You're right. You're 100% right. The incorrect spin, which was no – they they took control within the first hours because they knew there'd be a media frenzy over the Mueller report. And Barr and and Trump – took charge and they released to the media who was at a frenzy any information which it allowed Trump to say I'm completely exonerated oh, no man, collusion witch hunt but on it's that. not no 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 because he was exonerated there was no, no collusion in fact and, it said and it there, didn't exonerate and, him. and the, 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 the OL OL doesn't uh, exonerate him uh, you know the Phil, uh, Phil, Phil, Phil. The truth is the, the truth. The, the truth of the matter. And by the way, we've finally been joined by Bree. Bree, I'm glad you finally uh, were able to get in. Yeah, I'm using my laptop instead of my iPad. Oh, okay. Well, then that was probably the problem was the <laughs> yeah, iPad. Yeah, but you're backlit with the window. No, he's got just taking a shot of the window, Phil. Anyway, oh. uh, 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 the fact of the matter was, Phil, that. Uh, the Mueller report never said that he didn't obstruct justice, just that they were not, hold on a second, that he was not going to take the, take up the fact of making a decision on that and was going to leave it to the people who should, which is, guess who, Phil? Who? who Barr. Who? 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 No, not Barr. It's his no, boss, No, Barr. no, The job, what he, what he was doing, Phil, was turning it over to the Congress. No, to make that Congress decision is an oversight. No, it's no, they are oversight. also prosecutorial. Yes, let uh, uh, Rob is and uh, 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 is nodding his head like he's ha- going to have you a are. blood yeah, vessel. Yeah, I'm going to have a stroke because I'm going to snap my neck. It's Congress who is supposed to make the determination Correct. whether or not. Yes, yeah. it it's is Congress. General. No, it is it's not the Department of Justice. No. Phil, yeah, Phil, no, listen, no, no. listen, and learn. See. Listen well, and learn. Impeachment, impeachment is a political process. Right. Yes. Uh, so uh, that's and done by Congress. Crime, Jeff, Jeff, is, Jeff, is, Jeff, is, Jeff is getting apoplectic, too. Go ahead, Jeff. Read the book. We, my wife read it to me this morning with a lot of questions I asked her. She explained it to me. She looked up a couple of the words to make sure that she really was sure what book did she read? Was it the letter or Mueller the book report. or the Mueller report? She read the letter. The letter. Okay. The letter. Yeah. He has the rest too. She can read the less too, but she just wanted to read that so-called letter. Okay, and what and, did you get it's out, out of it? She read the same thing. Yeah, and what did you and get out of it? The snippy letter. Well, hold on a second. Like, hold on a second. What did you get out of it, uh, uh, 
that yeah. it's ultimately up to Congress. Absolutely. Well, we'll see. But if they're, they're saying there's no crime, that the report, <laughs> the report, the letter, is not a letter, said not a report. They didn't say there wasn't any crime. In fact, they listed 10 possible points at which he may have obstructed justice, but may he was have. leaving that up to other people to decide. Well, uh, no, nah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm done arguing. Well, no, because you don't know what you're talking you about, Phil. You can't win it, Phil. You you can't, no, not, not against, you know, a, a hung you, jury here. You can't you win can't it because... You can't win it against the Mueller report. It's in the Mueller report. Yeah, well, we'll why see. don't we ask Josh? Yes, Josh. Well, Let's ask you. If, if, the, if the Justice Department has... If you don't agree with the fact that they have it, that's fine. But I'm just saying, if the Justice Department has a long-standing tradition that they cannot indict a sitting president, then it is not up to the attorney general to indict or not indict because their policy is clear, we don't indict. In other words, smart people knew from the beginning that the Mueller report was going to be just that, a report. In other words, Robert Mueller could have come across a videotape where Donald Trump strangled someone to death and then looked right in the camera and said I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message and he would have wrote a report and not, said not I found this video of Donald Trump strangling a guy I'm not charging him with not, murder not according to Barr's testimony report. in front of Congress when uh, he said I am the one that decides whether there's been a, a crime and he said I'm not charging well, and, and he, and then he there must be some misunderstanding among the entire Republican Party and William Barr because all I've heard from the beginning of this entire fiasco is the Justice Department doesn't indict a sitting president. president. I mean, that's all I've heard from the very yep. beginning. Phil, yep. Phil, Phil, here you've got a guy in Josh who is intimately aware of the workings of the Constitution and of the laws in this country, and when he tells you that it's the job of the Congress and that it is not the job of the Justice Department to indict a president, okay, you can take that to the bank. Look, uh, you know— So are you uh, saying Josh, do Josh doesn't know no, what he's no, talking we're, about? we're splitting the hairs here. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, we're not. No, no, no we're the not. thing is— uh, it's up to the Department of Justice to say whether there was a crime. Uh, if the if the uh, Congress no. wants if the Congress no. wants to impeach, Not they can impeach the him president. for any reason or no reason. Not when it's the president. Yeah, when it's well, the president yes, is only it, Congress. It doesn't, apparently. it doesn't mean that uh, that Barr or the Department of Justice is going to arrest Donald Trump. It could mean that they would decide whether there was uh, uh, some sort of crime committed. That doesn't mean that uh, that they indict him. Uh, it just means that they come up with, after five okay. hundred millions right. of right. dollars we have, we have, we have and 500 yeah, okay. people Okay, you've being, said this all before, uh, Phil. You've said this all before. You've said it all before. They have nothing. You've said they it all nothing. before. You've said it all before. <laughs> jo uh, 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 Bree, anything you want to say about this? Huh? Um, you know my position on this, Alex. Yeah. I think it's just all in craziness. It's DC craziness. Yeah. You know, when I saw Kamala Harris, uh, I mean, I didn't see her. When I heard she had done a great job in questioning, I just thought, well, she had to. She's running for president. So that's her, <laughs> that's her opportunity. Mm. You know, and it's all Washington, DC madness, madness. Bar and it's I'm just uh, not interested in it you know at a certain point it gets to be too much but but I I always come back to the same thing which I say all the time okay let's push it all the way to the extreme Clint uh, the Trump is completely guilty absolutely did everything colluded was in rooms talking to them and figuring everything out which is which I don't believe right. but let's just either. say let's go the whole way What's the end result? What are you going to do? You, you want his tax returns, so you get his tax returns. What are you going to do? That it means nothing. He's going to. He's probably going to win again, because of that. The more you push, the more you go over this, the more likely he is to win again because he's not one of the same. Biden is part of that system. You know, Trump is not. Trump is doing a lot of crazy things, 
but he's not part of that system. And so if you take it to the extreme, if, if, if all Democrats win their entire way, get everything you want, everything, it's all Trump, he did everything, what are you going to do? You're going to impeach him? You're going to somehow get him out of office? I don't think so. Okay, let me ask you a question, John. Uh, Bree, Bree. Discredit him. He's already discredited a million times. Bree, let me ask you something. It's a waste of time, effort, and money. Bree, let me ask you something because I I see that in the background there is a map. Is that where you are on that map? Yeah. But point point to exactly where you are on the map. Can you go over there? In the back, is that is that? Uh, I got my laptop. I'll try. Uh, Egypt. Well, well, you, well, you could just walk over there, and you could have just done. Uh, uh, you could have left your laptop where it was. Okay, so where where is Dubai? Well, there's Bahrain. Right there. Wait a minute. You want Every, to see everybody, be quiet. Interesting about this map. Kuwait. Uh, Alex, where, you want to where see? Is, where is Israel on the map? Uh, <laughs> Will you shut up, Phil, so we can it see the picture? Palestine. Phil, shut up so we can see the picture. When you talk, oh. it goes to you. Say oh. something, uh, uh, Bree. Uh, yeah, so this is the maps in this area Yeah. Uh, only have Palestine. They don't say Israel. If they say Israel, they get whited out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are an you? Example like Wh- that in another room. Where are you in relationship to that? You're down. That's Dubai. And how much of yeah. that map is taken up by Dubai? Just that where your finger is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we we get okay. I was just wondering because I, I I saw that map in back of you and I went wow you know. Um, how much of that is the Emirates? Yeah. When I wake up, I you know, I used to do this in Singapore too. I, 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 the first couple of years, I'd be like, "What am I doing here?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not in Pittsburgh anymore. Yeah. And I look up, so I look up at that map every day to remind myself I'm somewhere else. <laughs> Must not be Pittsburgh anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, let me see here. Also today, you know, what we had happen today um, was there was an individual, I uh, can't remember which congressman, uh, who, because Barr didn't show up, uh, put a <clears throat> chicken where Barr was supposed to sit. A, a, a Once again, plaster, a plaster chicken. Okay, plaster. Yeah. and then, then, then he had a, a bu- he had a bu- box of chicken, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and he then offered it to the only black congressman sitting next to him, and she gave a look like, "What <laughs> the fuck is going on here?" You know. He had watermelon too. No, he didn't. Um, but uh, anyway. Hey, I started yeah. my keto diet today. I had my first keto meal. It was pesto salmon. Comes in these, uh, uh, well, this is what wraps around the container. Uh, I put them in this special bag that has uh, uh, shells. So uh, you, you put the... Yeah, that's that's really going to make you lose weight, Phil. Getting yourself a bag with shelves in it. Yeah, well, what what it does is uh, you only eat these meals, yeah. and uh, you know you, you don't run around looking for fast food. Why or don't anything. you just do what I did? Just three meals a day. Just be careful what you eat. Yeah, and why, they're good. Why don't you just had, do do what I did? And uh, I lost sixty pounds, Phil. Yeah, I, I don't want to cut my leg off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Bree. What? Alex, uh, move, Alex move, move into the picture so we can see you a little bit there. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 somebody's making noise. I think it's Jeff. Go, go ahead. Uh. So, so I had a uh, Thursday, Friday. Uh, what's today? Today's uh, Thursday. Well, it's Thursday Friday. in America. Yeah, it's Friday where you are. Friday. Yeah. So over the uh, like Saturday, Sunday, I had a sore throat. Monday, I had a head cold. And now I have a chest cold. So uh, I'm looking for tips and advice and whether I should go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, Zithromax. Uh, that's an antibiotic. I take it whenever I get something like oh, that. That's good. You, you take antibiotics you're... without having a doctor tell you to take them? Well, I go to the doctor. I tell him I need a zip strip, you know, Zithromax. I have, I have some antibiotics from two years ago Yeah. that uh, I never took. 
Well, they still do uh, it. Probably, but no. no, but different antibiotics work in different things. You know, yeah, like I, I took, I, I, well, I had um, uh, prostitis oh, well, when, well, I, uh, I when I had mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, prostate. Gee, and, Do uh, Dr. Phil is going to give you medical advice. Well, Go no, ahead, they, Phil. They gave, me, they gave me some terrible antibiotic that most people don't like to take. I can't remember what it is anymore, but it works on the prostate. Now, there are other things that work on this. On other on other stuff, mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, what yeah. I would say to you is number one. First of all, uh, uh, most medicine is good. They did a thing in the military. Uh, did a I test. I took one last night of this. Yeah. Well, uh, just one won't do it. Uh, but no, well, oh, no. This is oh, that's just that's an antihistamine. That's an antihistamine. That might help. You know what you probably it just helped. got is I a cold. I didn't have any mucus last night. What you probably have is a cold. Okay. But the point is yeah. that what I'm saying is is that all you have to do, there we go, see. Retard. Yeah, there we go. That's for Phil. Any medicine says retard on it. This is oh. Cipro, okay. Cipro, that's oh, the Cipro. stuff yeah. I was talking about. It, it, it's, it's awful for, you know, as far as the effects. Cipro is a very, very strong antibiotic, but it worked on the prostate. And you wouldn't take Cipro for... Uh, uh, Something that is in the Cipro, chest. And, uh, oddly you know, enough, you would, Phil. Cipro this, this is a wide-use antibiotic. Am I not right, Jeff? Oh, you're uh, muted, you're, Jeff. You're muted, Jeff. You're muted. Uh, I took this two years ago when I, I had the same thing. As far as these type of drugs, go talk to a doctor. Yeah, that's very yeah. dangerous. Yeah, yeah I, w I wouldn't take Cipro uh, without having somebody... Uh, yeah. Talk to you about it, and you have to take it for a long. Per they wanted me to take it for 30 days for the prostate thing. So, uh, and and they don't want you to come off of it for any reason. Uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I would I, not. I have a friend who's a pharmacist, and he's told me nightmare stories about people who self-medicate with with yeah. uh, antibiotics because they know how long you need to take it. If you start to take an antibiotic and it's killing it and you stop too soon it comes back stronger stronger and that yeah. antibiotic doesn't work and then you're in trouble yeah so i just go see a doctor i mean yeah i would i yeah. would do that too yeah. what about going on web md go to the doctor <laughs> just go to a doctor yeah, yeah. Uh, you can always try WebMD, you know, first and just ask a question like, what kind of antibiotics was it used? Do you have WebMD there? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, well, why, why, why can't you go to a doctor? I mean, you have health insurance, don't you? Yeah, but it's, well, today is Friday, and so a lot of them are closed. But don't you, do you, do you have, I'll tell you what I always find, I, I'll tell you what I find is, is the best thing to use, actually. They now have, even Mount Sinai just opened one, these urgent care clinics yeah. where you yeah. just go. I mean, if you've got a sore throat, you go to them. And I go, is, I go to them rather than my own doctor because my own doctor will say, I can see you next Wednesday. You yeah, know? but the problem is those walk-in clinics, I know in the last two, three years, I think, of mm -hmm. my insurance, mm -hmm. they charge you up the ass to go to those places. No, they oh. didn't charge a lot. I, I've never, I, as a my matter of fact, does. as a matter of fact, I've never gotten a bill from the one I go to. Because they, they probably take know. Medicare. They, they, oh, they, they take no, they take Medicare and they take the insurance as a secondary, yeah. and uh, I found you know when I've had like a sore throat or a cold that wouldn't go away yeah, or great. whatever, I'm not going to call my doctor for that because he's going to say I can see you next Wednesday or I can see you in two weeks. You know, I I just as soon be able to go somewhere that can take care of my problem immediately, right, Rob? Yeah, yeah. Except Green. that they charge 150 bucks. For every visit there, at least my insurance company does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. yeah. The one Bree, that's close to me doesn't yeah. open until eight a.m. tomorrow. Uh, like that's you, the King's College London. Um, yeah. Well, if, you know, if you talk to like a, a hotel, uh, uh, what do they call them, uh, concierge, they usually know of a service that's always available. No, yeah, I, I know of uh, one called Medi Clinic. Yeah, uh, and I think. That's where I usually go. I have to just check if they're open today, and they might be able to see me. Yeah, they open at noon. Yeah, so go see them. I mean, you know, it, probably what they're going to say is uh, you've got a you've got a bad cold, you know, 
Yeah, I've um, had my doctor tell me any number of yeah, times, look, yeah. if you want, I'll give you an antibiotic, but your body will heal itself. And yeah. I would recommend that you go that route. And if you can't, then we will prescribe it. But, you know, I, I tell you, said not to mess with. There have been times when I couldn't be sick and I took Zithromax. It's a five day. You take two pills the first day and then one pill every uh, uh, additional day for five days. Uh, I know that's a Cipero. Zithromax yeah. is, is, is different. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but uh, it, it works. This, and I only have two left to that. Oh, well, the Cipero, don't take it uh, without uh, being told what the story is and how long you have to take it for. Uh, Cipero is, this is very... the same thing I had two years ago, and it took me like a month and a half to two months to kick in. Yeah, Jeff is uh, pointing to his oh. watch. Time. What? time to time, Alex. What? I've, I've got 54. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah. yeah, there's like uh, six minutes left. Yeah, five. Okay. So five. Yeah. Actually, yeah, five minutes left. Okay. Is maybe your clock is watch is off? What kind of watch do you have? My uh... Mickey says. <laughs> oh. My Mickey is in black and white. I, I don't know if you can uh, can can see that. Yeah, it was. It says 55. Oh, yeah. hey, Alex. Mm -hmm. I, this is something I wanted to say for a long for a while. Yeah. Uh, I listen when I go around town. I listen uh, to podcasts, and I have to listen to, uh, you know, Gabnet, um, and uh, but I also listen to Jim Bohannon. Yeah. What's so funny is on the podcast, it's like digitally recorded, so it's very clear. Yeah. You can hear everything Jim Bohannon does when he has his guests on, and the main thing he likes to do is guess what he likes to do. What? Beat off. Rub one out. Yeah. <laughs> he files his nail. Oh, yeah. like you, if you listen to Jim Bohannon podcast, you hear two things. He will file his nails. I mean, talk about like, yeah, tell me about how we did that, you know. And then the other one is he's it, always typing. It, it, like it, somebody it, will say something, so he types it in the computer real quick and he'll say, well, I know something about that. It, isn't, the, like, isn't there something, isn't there something rude about that, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, the other thing, he has. A lot of chronic callers like i listen to it i download every day i listen every once in a while i and don't I, call that show i can tell you all his regular all his regular callers i know them by name and where they're from he's got one guy in manila that always calls gil from manila yeah and maggie from richard but what i was thinking was what isn't he lucky to have gotten that gig where he you know was following after larry king and he's just on so many stations and those stations don't know that, as you said, that the head of the snake's been cut off. And they just keep, you know, he just, what a gig. He's able to keep doing that and doing that. And it's like, we don't want it good. We want it Monday, Tuesday, Monday through Friday, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. I've never been a big fan of Jim Bohannon's, but, you know, what? Who, he's been working an awfully long time. I've decided that people with relatively no talent last a long time in this business. I've never heard of him. Huh? Oh, oh Jim I, Bohannon? I've never heard of him. Oh, he's been around forever, right, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you know, i got to tell you, uh, tonight has just been a joy for me because this thing has worked perfectly. I've never gone out of sync, no matter how many people called. Uh, the picture looks much better on the screen that we're sending out. Uh, and... Um, I'm so happy to have my little baby back, and it, it really does the job. And I'm right now I'm only using 11% of my CPU, so that's how, how powerful this machine wow. is. Uh, uh, I think that's Apple's CPU. They just lo he gave it to you, you know. It, it, <laughs> they, they, they loaned Steve it to Jobs me. Steve Jobs paid for that. Yeah, they loaned it to me. But anyway, there goes our theme, and uh, there's Phil. Got to say goodnight to him. Uh, we got to say goodnight to Rob as well. Josh, thank you. Jeff, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. And, of course, thanks to Bree from Dubai. Uh, feel and, better, Bree. And yeah. you will feel better, I'm sure. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back, okay? There we go. There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And, man, I'm telling you, this thing has just worked perfectly. 
just perfectly. I, I'm so happy uh, with the way it worked. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, uh, it's as it should be. And thanks to Apple for having done such a wonderful job uh, with this. Uh, hey, listen, that's it for right now. Next is the intersection with Jack Bishop. Tomorrow night, to come uh, 9.30, it'll be the exchange with Damian Chaplin. Then we'll be back again here tomorrow night. Uh, yes, same time, same station in life, 10 o'clock. And as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.